What's up everybody? This is Rob Shack. How y'all doing today? Or tonight, depending on whenever you're watching this video. I am going to be going through the next level in my Samurai Warriors 1 100% mission guide completion where we are on Goemon Ishikawa and we are on the Dance of Kyoto. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share and enjoy the gameplay and instructions of what to do. So with this one, last week what we did was we went through and we got all the missions done except for the choice. So there's a two-way street here, you have to choose between two different things. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to go through the mission the exact same way as we did before, but instead of killing KG, or not killing, but defeating KG at the end, we're just going to, um... You just hit me. Um, instead of defeating KG, we're going to defeat the Oda troops. That's the key, and it's going to get us the lower uh, tier of his missions. The upper tier is obviously when you stop. Um, I mean, what's her name? You, or when you stop Keiju, that's what is the main way. But with this one, it's not that way. You have to actually, instead of defeating Keiju, defeat the miscreant or defeat the other troops. Those cutscenes have already been done before, so I'm gonna come over here. here I'll show you how a real Make sure this miscreant stays alive. I think he survived. Oh. Ha <laughs> 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 I'm on fire today! <laughs> well, that miscreant died, so we're gonna see how much of a difference that makes in this one. I don't think it should make too much of a difference. But, still, annoying that that happened. I would rather that not happen. This lady shan't be far behind. What if I can come over here and get rid of this gate? I think I can. Wait, I can come down here. It's like the thing I like to do in this game is get rid of um, gates. I just like to do that to get my maximum troop count. I think Okuni is now going to move towards um, that other stronghold on the far side, which I wanted to get myself, but it's okay. So now I'm going to come over here and try to protect this miscreant. I lost the other ones, but I think this one should be fine. The reason why they lost the other ones was because there's like a cutscene that obviously happens that makes it so that you can't just go right up to that miscreant. You have to like watch this cutscene and so that is valuable seconds. Um, but yeah, this one should be fine. Obviously he can still get, he can still like, I think KG can basically like three shot miscreants so be careful when you're fighting with the miscreants because yeah they can basically just get destroyed by him. Like if he musos he can just like really hurt them. But they also can hurt him, which that one just did right there. They can they can do some damage, but you have to also just basically just protect them as best as you can. Getting them. There we go. This lady shan't be far behind. Well, we protected that miscreant. That's good. I'm going to come over here and get rid of this gate. We're just going to keep on moving. Eventually the Oda troops will start popping up. Speaking of... Now who is this? Must be those Oda troops. And they are very important. So now I'm going to head up here. I don't remember where... I think he actually... Oh yeah. I think he actually ambushes, yes he does, up upstairs, so I have to get there pretty quick. Obviously you don't want miscreants to all, I think if any of them die, oh it doesn't even matter, okay. It doesn't even matter which, uh, if the miscreants die, so you can fail all those missions if you want. I would recommend not failing them because you obviously want KG to not be completely indestructible near the end of the game because Alcuni is the person you have to protect and her morale kind of is terrible compared to um, Waymon's. Waymon's morale is like really really good 
but uh, yeah, Okuni's is terrible. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching these videos. These have been so much fun to make, uh, just like in the middle as I'm playing through this. I'm playing while I talk because I like doing that. I just kind of like to test my ability to do multitask here, which is why I do this. Um, but it just thank y'all. It really means a lot. This is like the game of my childhood, so I like really, really enjoy it. Um, well, we just lost another miscreant. So I don't really know what's going to happen over there. Cause that dude died. So what happens? I have no freaking clue. Uh, I don't know if KG's going to appear up there or what. Let's figure that out. But my goal is to get rid of the uh, other troops anyway, so I'm not super worried about KG, which is kind of why I'm like glad I'm going at this rate. So my whole goal is to just get rid of all of the miscreants, or not the miscreants, the other troops. So it's we'll see what happens. This is kind of like a trial run, honestly, to see what happens as we go through this. It should be fine because KG just won't appear there. And I don't really know where he'll go instead, but he will be somewhere. I really don't know where he's going to end up. But I'm just basically focusing on the uh, Oda troops, so yeah. I'm just getting warmed up here. That gate is really beat up. Yeah, the last time I did this level, if you checked the video last week, um, the Oda troops up there, like, our miscreant buddy up there destroyed everything. So I'm like, hmm, interesting. But yeah, so we're going to keep going through. Just keep going. KG obviously is really, really strong now. So by the end, you kind of have to go straight to him the moment he ambushes a miscreant because you don't really know what's going to happen. Um, he's just so powerful. Crazy. So, you have to be very, very careful. If you're trying to protect all the miscreants, obviously, you really want to be quick on that. And the same goes for, like, you basically can't take any gates. Like, you can't waste any time. Just because, yeah, they're really strong. The other troops are strong, and, like, obviously, they just destroyed miscreants up there at the top. But we're still doing fine here. We've lost two miscreants so far. And, I mean, they're not doing great, but as long as you, you know, protect some of them, I think it's just... I think every time a miscreant dies, morale takes a hit, so you don't want to lose too many, because then the Oda troops are too powerful. So you kind of want to... It's kind of like a, you know, tight rope you kind of have to walk. But, yeah, it shouldn't be too, it shouldn't be too bad. Y'all can do it. But I just like to kind of walk through it with y'all in case anyone's been having some questions here. This lady shan't be um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really want to talk about. I think I'm just going to basically continue trying to get rid of Oda troops and protecting as many miscreants as possible. And we'll have some fun with it. Wow, that freaking... <laughs> His third attack on the horse is awesome. Okay. But uh, yeah, glad I got to see that. So, at that point, it's good that you, if, if you are trying to keep it where the, the miscreants stay alive, what I did was probably not the best thing. If you want to protect, the, if you want to get to the Oda troops, it's good that KG has to fight that gate for a little bit. That makes a difference. You want KG to be out of the way of all of his troops and your troops and your allies. You want to be having to be as far away as possible for as long as possible. So it's good that I secured that gate. I would actually recommend doing that because every second counts if you're trying to... The Oda troops don't come quickly. They're not super uh, timely in their spawning in. So you kind of want... It's good that Keiji gets distracted. It's good that he's not just mowing through all your people because if Okuni dies, it's over. You do not want to lose Okuni at all. So you have to be very, very careful. And then every time you defeat an Oda troop, they do all run away. Hit all of their troops run away, so that's kind of good. Um, there's KG, but we're going to not fight him. Or we're going to fight near him, but we're not going to try to get rid of him. We're going for his little bro here. 
Hachi, uh, Hachi, uh, I don't know how you say it. But we're going to work on this dude. We're going to win this little duel thing and then freaking cannon his face, which is hilarious. Um, ignore KG because if you kill him, this you get the exact same thing that you got in the last round. You're, if, if you're exa going through it straight up the way that I'm doing it, then you don't want to get rid of him. You don't even want to fight him, because he's strong, and he's very, very strong when he's officially the commander, so you want to be careful there. But what's been weird is Okuni is way up there. It's great that she did that. I hope that if you're going for this, that she does that for y'all too, because she's so safe right now. Like, there's nothing near her. It's amazing. So, uh, keep trying to distract KG if you can, but... I mean, if she's, she's all that matters. The miscreants don't matter. If you look at the pause, it doesn't really matter what happens to anyone else. But you do want to make sure she stays alive. So I think I can actually, and I cannot walk. There's a, the walls are all blocked off. I don't know what's up with that, but you're gonna want to protect her, obviously, when she's now way over there and there's a general fighting her. I think she'll be fine. I'm not really sure what Keiji's doing. He's just kind of ran roaming around the map at this point because he I think he's technically going for me, but I'm going to try to lure him away from that miscreant. But in reality, what I'm really doing is just running to rescue Alcuni. You want her to stay alive or else the game ends. <clears throat> so, yeah. I'll stop talking. Enjoy the rest of the video and be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Alright, I give up. I'll admit that you bested me this time. Weak! Weak! You're all weak! Kyoto is like my backyard! So don't you go gallivanting around anymore, alright? You overgrown! I do beg our pardon. Doesn't matter. There was glory in today's fight. Let's do it again sometime. What? Glory? Isha? Surely you flatter, sir. So anyway, see you around. Such a dashing man. What? 